you know that the vector y is a linear combination of some other vectors, say u1, u2, and u3, whenever you can find weights c1, c2, and c3 such that y equals c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3. But how are we going to find these weights? By trial and error. Well, that does not seem a very bright idea. In this video, you will learn how to find these weights very fast. As it turns out, it boils down to solving a linear system. And we know how to do that, so let us have a look. Here we have an explicit example. We have u1 and u2 given awkward factors and a y given. And the question is, is y a linear combination of the vectors u1 and u2? So, what do we need to do? We need to find weights c1 and c2 such that y equals c1 times u1 plus c2 times u2. How can we find c1 and c2? Well, let us make one vector from the right hand side. So as a first component you get c1 plus 2 times c2 over here. Second component minus c1 plus, two uh, plus 1 times c2 equals minus 5. And similarly for the other two components. Now those two vectors are only equal if all components of the vectors are equal. Like the vector 1, 2, 3 is equal to the vector 1, 2, 3. But the vector 1, 2, 3 is not equal, for example, to the vector 2, 4, 6. And the vector 1, 2, 3 is also not equal to the vector 1, 2, 4. All components of both vectors have to be the same. But if all components have to be the same, that leads to the equation c1 plus c2 equals minus 1. But we also need minus c1 plus c2 equals minus 5. And we need 2c1 plus 3c2 equals 0. And we need at the same time minus 2c1 minus 4c2 equals 2. But that means that I have four linear equations and two unknowns, c1 and c2. So we have a linear system. And we know how to solve a linear system. We form the augmented matrix first, and then we do the row reduction. So we add this row once, subtract it over here two times, and add it here twice. Okay, what do we get? Add here once, we get 0, 3, minus 6, okay. Subtract twice, 0, minus 1, 2 over there, and add twice, 0, 0, 0 for the last row. Continue the row reduction. We divide this row by 3, divide this row by minus 1, so we get over there, and then we go further to reduce echelon form. Subtract once, subtract twice. So the third row entirely disappears. And for the first row we get 0, minus 2, subtract minus 2 twice. So subtract minus 4, so add 4, we get a 3. And then we see what the solution of our system is. We find 1 times c1 plus 0 times c2 equals 3. 0 times c1 plus 1 times c2 equals minus 2. So c1 equals 3 c2 equals minus 2, and the other two rows just tell us that 0 equals 0, which is true. So we find, finally, that y equals 3 times u1 minus 2 times u2, and that means that y can be written in terms of u1 and u2. So y is a linear combination of u1 and u2 